Hey, what's up guys? I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to give you an update of where the app was because we've made a lot of changes since the last time you saw it. So first thing right here, this is our um, Electric Styles Shopify store. And so anytime somebody downloads our app, they're just gonna go into the app section. This dashboard is the same for every Shopify store. Um, first thing you'll notice, we got a new logo. We put the Favcom up, Electric Creations. So you'll click in. This is our dashboard. Um, so we're going to update this logo, get rid of this black, but this shows you your order info for the last 30 days. We're going to be adding in a new tab here in the next 30 days, and it's going to be called branding. And what branding is going to do is just that. It's going to allow any one of our app users to have their own branding packages. And the packages that we put together, so at first for shoes, you're going to get a custom drawstring bag and you're gonna design this with your company name, logo, put your image on it, you design whatever you want. And every pair of shoes that your customers buy are gonna come with this drawstring bag and that's gonna make our products just look phenomenal and the people who are using our app are gonna love it. Um, the second thing is the factory is just now finishing up white labeling tags. So when somebody purchases, for example, a light up hoodie or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt they're gonna be able to add their own branding tag right here and it'll say their website and give their logo. You know, Again, anything they wanna design will come on our custom made products with their brand name on it. Um, so you guys already know our orders tab, but basically right now we just have a pay now button whenever an order comes through. The customer simply clicks pay now, enter your credit card information pops up and that's it. Once they pay, it goes on to the CSV file, which is sent to our factory. Our factory produces the product and then they ship to our warehouse in the USA. And from there, we download a shipping label. And once we do that, it's going to automatically update the tracking number and give the URL. So if we ship USPS, the USPS number will be right here under tracking number. And then USPS.com will be under the URL. In the future, we're going to have China log in directly and print the shipping labels. And then this will give our customers their tracking number while the product is still in China, which is three days before it gets to us. Um, so that's probably going to eliminate a good portion of our support where customers ask, where's my package? Um, we'll be able to get them a tracking within three to four days because that's how long production takes. So in here we have customer design. So this is the front end builder that we developed. And so for every store, this is gonna be customized, but you can see here now we have the LED low tops and high tops, the canvas shoes, the zip up hoodies, um, the light up hoodies, I gotta fix that. The sweatshirts, t-shirts, socks, and slip on shoes. And right here, you can adjust the price for how much it's to be sold for on your website. And so I'll show you what this looks like. And again, this link is going to be unique to every store who downloads our app. So this navigation bar right here will be for whatever the store is. This way, um, customers don't look around, you, you know, they don't end up on some random website. They still stay in the store that's using our app. Um, and from here, the customer can choose. They want to make LED shoes, canvas shoes, hoodies, we have light up hoodies sweatshirts now we have t-shirts we have socks and slip-on shoes so i'll show you this light up hoodie template because this one i'm really excited about um, so we can add a front image let's see here we can add the left sleeve we'll do a different image we can add the right sleeve change the front to match. And what's really cool about this is when you click on the sleeve, you can see it unfolded here, and then you can position it to anywhere you want the image to be. And so we know this dotted line is the center. So if anybody's putting like words down the sleeve of their hoodie, which a lot of people want to do, we're getting a ton of custom requests for this. Um, they can line it up perfect and know that their letters will be facing the outside. Um, so we think that's pretty, 
that's pretty cool. And then right about here is going to be your elbow. Um, we also let you design the bottom, the back, and the hood. And so, you, you know, again, you just, you just drag to adjust. Same thing with the hood. Um, we actually have this unfolded hood so you know exactly where your product is going to print. And same thing with the cups, we miss those. But on each one of these, you can, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, I think this is just overall is a really great template. We're getting, we're getting good reviews from people. Okay, so back into the app here. But again, you just set the price here. Um, this is the price that they pay us $55 for LED shoes, $35 for canvas shoes, $42 for light up hoodies. And then we have design products. And again, this is the same template, but you'll notice you don't pick your sizes here. And the reason that you don't is because when you design a product using this template builder, these are products that are going to be sold on your store. So we just created this cool pair of leopard shoes. And we'll call them Elliot Leopard Test. Spell leopard wrong. And we'll price them at $99. And then we simply click upload product. And so what it's doing right now is creating a product on Shopify. But what it's also doing is taking all of these images and it's saving them on our server. So as we grow, we're going to have this server with just millions and millions of images on it. I mean, I'm sure there's thousands on it already. Um, and we're going to be able to get a lot of good data on what customers are making and what they're buying. Um, and And I'm not sure what we're going to do with that data yet, but I think it's going to be valuable. So here's the product that we just made. We have a description already in for the people, floor product images. This is the inside of the shoe, outside of the shoe. These are all the variants and sizes. And then if you go to the website, you can see this is now for sale. Those leopard spotted shoes that we just made, they can pick their size and they can pick their color. Um, back into the app here, I wanna just talk about one last thing that we are developing that's really cool. And it's called an artist design section. So one of the big things that we want to do with this app is make it as easy as possible for people to sell. And so we're going to have a third tab. One, two, three, four. So this will actually be the sixth tab because we're going to add in branding right here. And then we're going to have artist designs. And what we're going to do is create a separate website where an artist can log in. And using this builder right here, they're going to be able to design their own products and then upload them. And from there, we're going to be able to look in their collection. The collection is all of the products that that artist created. So maybe they created some canvas shoes, they created some zip up hoodies, they created some light up hoodies. All of their products are going to go into their collection, which is named after the artist. And then from there, what we're going to be able to do is simply download the products we like and upload them to our app into the artist design section. And once we do that, any user with our app will be able to one click upload these products directly to their Shopify store and start selling them. When a product sells, we're going to have the data on the back end and it's going to be linked directly to that artist. And we're going to pay out the artist. We're thinking about $4 for a hoodie, $5 for a pair of shoes, $2 for, for lower cost products, about about 10 to 20 percent of our profit margin on each product and from the artists we've talked to so far about this program we've been getting some pretty positive feedback um, and with several thousand 
Shopify store signed up using our app, which is what we're expecting this year, they should be able to make some really good money if they have some cool designs. So that's it. This is where we're at in development. Um, we're starting to get a pretty good amount of products listed on this app, which is really cool. We still have a lot more that we can upload. Um, the last thing we're doing is adding in the branding tab and then we are getting reviewed by Shopify to go live on the Shopify app store on 127. So in about 12 days, Shopify is going to give us the thumbs up to be listed on the app store, or they're going to tell us what we need to fix, which I put at about 95%. They're going to tell us what we need to fix, which will give us a little bit more time to add in a few more developments and just get more things cleaned up. So it's not a bad thing. It'll be good to know what we need to fix. And that's it. All right, guys. Take care.